What's up, YouTube? Demi here with the crafting session. I'm just looking through my projects tab for things to do, and uh, I got these boots last league from uh, Betray League. Sorry, Delve League. They are triple T1 prefix, T1 movement speed, T1 Delve hybrid, whatever you want to call that, and T1 life. Um, they have the potential to be one of the highest, if not the highest, life boots once I finish them, but they need to have strength for that on them as a suffix. Right now they have avoid bleed, which is garbage, life regen, and crafted strength. I can do better than that. So we're gonna try to hit tier one strength plus like a resist basically. I'm trying to remember what I need. Need some annuls. But I've had five mirror services in the past two days, which is pretty fucking good. And that means I got some currency to blow, which means you guys get to come along for the ride. <laughs> uh, as with every metacrafting session, I don't recommend you do this unless you have way too much currency and nothing else to do with it. Never do this if you're poor. That's a waste of your currency. So we're gonna lock our prefixes, get rid of the garbage suffixes, just like so. We're blocking a resistance. It doesn't really matter. These aren't Shaper, they aren't Elder, they're just I-86 white, or I-86 normal base. So we'll just block a random res and try to hit that strength roll. T2 fire res into T1 strength. I mean, <laughs> uh, double T2 res. That's interesting. I actually need to do a search on PV trade, one sec. Okay, so this is what I want you to see. I added the minimum of the flat life roll. The tier 1 flat life is 80, plus the minimum of the flat hybrid life, which is 15. Gives me 95 minimum, right? Uh, and then T1 movement speed, 35. And then the max life, so that it guarantees that it shows the hybrid. This is online or offline, searching for boots in standard, which is the league that I'm in. What do we got? There's one with the prefixes. There's a couple actually. It looks like these weren't that hard to make last week from what I can see. So maybe this isn't good enough. I mean, we obviously have double T2 resist, which is better than all of these so far. But I don't see any that are like extremely high resist yet. A lot of them have three suffixes as well. I wonder if there's a finished pair. We're just gonna scroll for a bit. I'm gonna make sure I don't make any mistakes here. This is how you check and see if you have something that's insanely good or not. I'm actually surprised at how many triple T1 prefix bases there are. Okay, so this one has tier one strength and tier one life regen from Delve. This is probably the one of the best RF boots that I've seen. And it's fucking 30X, which is nothing. That's insane. I believe that's more tall though. Uh Trying to decide if I want to search based off. There's another one with strength on it. That one's really fucking good too. Okay, um, I think I might be a little bit pickier then. I don't know if I want to go for the strength mod since these seem to be so fucking common. I didn't realize how many of these people actually made in the league. Jesus Christ. They must have been pretty easy to make. I only have the one base. There we go. That's, again, life regen, but not good enough cold res. Dodge, fire is. I wonder if these, none of these, okay, there are a couple shaped ones. This one's strength, but it's got bad strength. Good cold res. Here we go. There's strength, life regen, resist. Again, insanely good RF boots. A lot of these guys have the same, like, same character name. Are you noticing that? You're noticing a theme here. There's like four people that have all of these. <laughs> Sniper Betrayal, Natalitza, Mycenary, Momotemp. Or Shipper Betrayal, sorry. Those seem to be the most popular ones. I don't see any with this high of tier resist though. So to check that, what you do is, you add a filter group, you put count, and then at least two of these. So we'll do fire, res, cold, res, and lightning res. We can also add chaos res, which I'm not sure if I want to do that. Oops. Res. It's hard to type with one hand. And chaos res. T2 chaos res is 26 minimum. Lightning, cold, fire, all 42 for tier 2 minimum. Check. Okay, so there's one. T2 T1 crafted. So that's actually better than ours so far. T2 T1 crafted. Again, better than ours. T1 T2. Yeah, crafted again. Hey, look, it's all the same, dude. It's all this guy. 
So I might stop on this one. This has tier one chaos res too. That's really nice. And there's the video service ones for perfect resist on a two tone base. Hmm. I don't know if I want to invest crazily into these. I mean, they are really good boots. Maybe I'll keep them for my RF build, but I really wanted the strength mod. It's just so good. There's so many of them. Like, what the heck? 10 mirrors? That seems a bit aggressive. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, it's got a movement speed mod. I think I'm going to stay there, actually. So now we get to do the painful aspect, which is divining the ever-living shit out of this. I don't have that many divines. So divining process, we need to get 89, 25. What is that? 94 plus 20 is 114 max plus 3%. Jesus Christ, this is going to be rough. All right, well, we're committing. If I have to, I'll go spend all this exalts on divines. It's fine. 114, really? That's possible? I guess. Seems like that's going to be exceedingly hard. 111. Okay, it is possible. I just, I, I'm not trusting my math. Oh my god. I'm just looking at the prefixes. The suffixes we can divine separately after this process. Once I, uh, I can lock prefixes and then divine those. 111. 111. I keep seeing 111. 113. Okay, that's one off. I don't want to spend another billion divines to get one flat life. I think I'm going to stop there. Now you can lock your prefixes just like this. And then you can go back to divining just the suffixes, which we need 45, 45 on, which is really easy, apparently. Um, and then I have a couple of choices here on what I can craft. I can craft strength to get more flat life, which I might do, but I could also do 20% resist for fire and lightning would give this a stupid amount of total res would that be 130 total res and obviously i need to run it through an enchant service because that's just bad uh let's see i think i'm gonna stick to the fire lightning res just because it's kind of cool to see we'll just craft that until it's 20 just like so and there you go you got some pretty fucking good boots i don't know if i'm gonna put them up for meteor service quite i might um i might just use them or I might just try to list them for a couple hundred X. You know, who knows? We'll, we'll never know. I sold an old Amir item that's like outdated with newer rolls for Amir today. Instead of putting it up for service. So that might have happened to these. But they definitely need to get either the Pen Enchant or Uber Lab attacking Cassidy because this is from Merc or like Leech or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and go follow me on twitch.tv slash Demi if you would like to watch me do this sort of stuff live sometimes. I'd appreciate that. But... Uh, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. That'll be Demi out. Let's see how many labs this should take. Sounds like a Varegen or Pen, I think. You know, just one key runs because I'm a pleb and can't not kill things. Movement speed. Eh. Fire damage. Okay, that's not good. Go again. Take two. I believe in me. Nope. I saw the 10% got kind of happy about it. Alright. Regen. I think I'll keep that. Just keep it in case I need to do RF again. I might remake my RF chieftain just to showcase like it's possible with e it's not possible rather. It's like even better than it ever has been with the new stupid fucking gear available. But uh, yeah, there's Death Spark Titan Greaves. Pretty okay, I think. <laughs>